Ooh, welcome back everybody welcome if you're new today we're in the 358 modified here at Lernerville. this is actually the quickest i have ran here so far and this track's actually pretty worn out as you can see through the, each of these corners three and four is a lot worse than one and two you have to be right up on the edge and one and uh three and four one and two isn't as bad but you still have to be really high up there to have all that speed once we get a few laps into this though we won't be running the outside for too long i feel like i'm gonna try to move down find some grip so we don't go over the edge because three and four is very sketchy to go over on I feel like I didn't have a very good run in for this lap it's an okay one and two I got a little sideways mid corner try to get right up there on the edge not go over I feel like that was a bad entrance of one and two, but it felt better. We ran a 624, which that's not a great time, but this lap seems like it's a little better. Yeah, I feel like that might be a little bit better of a time. We'll see. It is a 613, so not much better. And the four car has the pole so far with a 590. At least we could start somewhat up front. If we could stay in second, that'd actually be kind of ideal. Because I want to be on that outside for turn one and two. I know the six car was super fast. I think he might have messed up his times. Yeah, he kind of messed up his times there, it looks like. But still have a couple people left to qualify. Is everybody actually here? The five car is not here, but he already, it says he's done already. So I'll bring you guys back. We'll get ready to go green. Hopefully we can stay in second because that will be great for the start of the race. All right, we stayed in second. That's pretty good for the start of this race, I feel like, because I'd much rather be on the outside lane than the inside. The start, I'd say we'd be running the top for five, ten laps or so, and then try to move down, especially in one and two. There's more of a line going through one and two that you can really make work, I feel. Three and four is going to be really hard to find some speed. That's going to be really tough, because it is really wide, slick through the whole corner, except the very bottom, but the very bottom is really slow. So this will be an interesting race overall. I think one and two will have more grip for a little bit more longer three and four are just gonna have to try to work it like maybe a little bit in the slick but try to keep the car straight just let off the gas and try to keep it rolling through there pretty well yeah at speed i don't i try to stay away from right here on the wall there's kind of like a bump and it could really screw up your turn one entrance and it's easy just to slide right off the top so i try to avoid that at all costs especially when the track gets this worn out i try to really avoid it then i really don't want to bounce and then go into that corner and it would really screw me up badly you still have a little bit of room up here but it is very tight running up top at this track at this point of the race sorry team i'm guessing that was my fault i apologize you must have got a 2x already or something you're good, man. My bad. Yeah, like right about there. If you're like right up on that wall. Also, if you get like your right tires on the wall, you can go and flip. So, you gotta try to avoid that as well. Close to me so quickly. Good luck, gentlemen. And then running that high side in three and four, it's easy to come off and smack the wall also. And let's just try not to go over the edge as well because that will really ruin your race. No cautions. You got 30 laps here. Didn't have a great start. Third place had a pretty good jump, I think. We'll see if he tries to throw a slider. I don't think he is. Yeah, he's staying down. I had to let off a ton there because it was just straight lining going through that corner. But it felt all right. Had a good one and two. I feel like I might be a little faster, so we just have to be patient not go over the edge and we should do pretty well this race i feel like the front stretch is just so bumpy i don't know if you guys can see my hands or anything but the front stretch is bumpy as hell all the way down it like the top and three and four is sketchy god it's so bumpy um top and three and four is very sketchy but it's definitely the fastest way around right now i think it's gonna be the fastest way around all race but it's gonna get harder and harder to actually stay up here I'm just going to try to run a little bit lower and keep the car on the track mainly. I used to hate 1 and 2 more than 3 and 4, but it seems like now 3 and 4 is like more unsuspecting when I go off. 
in one and two, I kind of know if I'm going to go off or not. If I screw up the corner initially, I already know. But it used to be a lot of the opposite, and three and four I used to be not worried about, but I'm more worried about now. But the four cars running very well currently. But you can see that line in the middle right there where it's kind of opened up between the two slick lanes. I think you can make that line in one and two work once the top starts to go away. I really do think you can make that work. You just got to be careful and not get too sideways and bog down the car too much. These, when these cars bog down, it's so slow. Looks like most of the guys behind are doing pretty well. Staying in line, not really going over. Got the nine car up ahead somewhere, like halfway through the track. Okay, one guy's over. There's a six car. I know he was really fast in the last practice, and he screwed up qualifying, it looks like, and he went over. That's unfortunate for him. So I think he was pretty quick. But starting further back in the pack, the more cars you're behind, the harder it is to see the line you're running. It's a lot easier to go over at that point. When there's a lot of dust on track and there's cars obstructing your view. We're already on lap 11. Track's holding up a little bit better than I expected, to be fair. Really just throttling it through three and four. The three car's starting to catch us a little bit. He's doing really well. I need to get up on the top of one and two a little bit better. That was a good one and two. Definitely am faster than him in three and four. Had a really let off there. I'm going to try to make this line work. If we can, try not to slide up into him. You can see how much quicker that is. Probably going to get slid on. Nope, okay. Three car held off. You can see how much faster the top lane is, though. Got to really let off into turn one because I don't want to go over. Got it a little too low there. Oh, I went over. Fuck. Don't hit the wall. Okay, we stayed out of the wall at least. Damn, that sucked, and I jumped there. Don't want to hurt the car. Fuck. That's what I was saying. It's so unsuspecting when I go over in three and four, because I really didn't feel like I was going to go over there. That guy went over. Hopefully he doesn't rejoin the track. He does. Jesus, dude. Come on. Hopefully we can get by him. No, he's going to slide up that right there. And he smacked the wall pretty hard, so his steering might be messed up some. More guys going off. Okay, we need to try to find a way around this guy, because he is definitely slowing us up. Try to make this middle line work if we can. No, that outside just has so much momentum. Fuck, I can't believe I screwed myself like that. We had a top two, three at worst run going. Damn, I'm so pissed at myself. And it is so tough to pass because the outside lane is the fastest by far. Clear, clear, clear. But yeah, I'm just like throttling it through these the corners bottom. in three and four. Clear, clear. Just to stay right there at the top. And I screwed it up Working and went around. just over at my right clear. rear. We need to get like a really good run off of the turn four or something and try to slide them in one and two or vice versa. But definitely feel like we're quicker. And people are keeping this outside lane so well in this race. Like, we're back fighting for fifth place, and this eight car is running the edge really oh, well. I think a three car might have went off. Oh, he's flipped. That's unfortunate. That sucks. I think he barely went over, and oh, I went over again. Are you kidding? I got two sideways going in. Don't hit this guy. Okay. Fuck me. I keep screwing it up. I got two sideways that time going in three for sure. Damn it, man. Like, I'm screwing myself up now. Really got to get in easy and not go over. I almost went over there again. I need to just run lower. One and two is not that bad still. I just need to not get so high in three and four. I need to just run a little lower. 
Try to keep the car straight if possible and maybe catch the exit grip. It seems like more and more people are going over. That was almost a bad situation. Just three and four is so worked in. Crash up top. That's the eight car. Yeah, I'm just going to start running a lower line. Try to stay off the edge because it seems like more and more people are just going over. There goes a lap car over. Try to work the very bottom in. He's coming back on track, wrecking the other lap car almost. I had to get on the brakes and not run into him, and that got us all sideways. Nine car got very sideways there. I don't know if the six got into him or not. No, they're they're running that outside and. They're just faster still on the outside. Six car had a good run there. This is another lap car. Yes, it is. It's three. That sucks for the three. Oh, why did that lag like that? That was weird. I did not like that one bit. I'm just going to hope on people wrecking at this point because I'm, I'm done going over myself and screwing myself up. Because I could be ahead of the eight for sure at this point. Try to run like this slider line right here. Try not to slide up into them or off the track. Try to catch the exit grip. One more lap around. At least we didn't go a lap down from us going off twice, surprisingly. That didn't put us a lap down. I'm kind of shocked. Hopefully that six car can put some pressure on this eight. I don't know why he's trying to race him that hard. He's a lap down. Getting throwing sliders on a lap car or a lead lap car. It makes no sense. And he's getting into his back right. I don't understand that at all and almost wrecking him off a of four, but we're gonna come home fifth That's very unfortunate which where I with where I well, thought what a race, Brad. Yeah, I don't know I don't know why he was racing him that hard when he's a lap You're down, so but we could have finished top two you mad at me. I was just fighting for every inch there. That may have been something else too If uh, I really didn't know hard. what you were gonna do there in three and four So I went to the bottom and then I need to go and look back. Where did I first go off at? Cause I need to go back and look at that because I just screwed myself up really badly. We're running top three right here. Because the three car is very quick starting to catch us. Four car was running that edge so well. Like he was having a great race. I was almost over there, but I didn't think I was. Wow, I was right on that edge with my back right. Because I was trying to get around the four car the lap before. I had a good one and two here. I just can't believe I went over twice. That pisses me off. Just got in a little low and it slid me up and back right just barely came off. Like I came in just a little bit lower. Like you can see I'm a little lower than they are. They're already getting the grip and I'm trying to slide up into it and the back right just barely, barely goes over. I'm happy I stopped it before it slammed into the wall at least. And then I think I did it a few laps later. Like it really wasn't much later. Lap 21. I'm right on the 8th. We're fighting for 5th place at this point. Trying to catch him. I felt like I was a little bit quicker than him running the top side. And once again, I just get in a little low and it just goes right on over. But I saved it quicker because I went over quicker in that one. Just going in too low. And it's already so slick down here. You're going to slide up a ton. And I was already way off the gas too. It just slides a lot and it got in way too sideways. Back right gets over and you're not going to save it from there. So... Luckily, we never smashed the wall when we went over. That's the lucky part. I want to see what happened to the three car. Because he, when he went over, he really screwed it up. The seven car. Seven car is lap down. This is a lap car. Oh, the lap car screwed him up. The lap car really slid up right there. Right in on his front and left. Like, damn. That's unfortunate. And then when he goes to stop, he flips it. Like, that sucks. That's the worst case scenario by far. Two car was doing really well though apparently like he started catching the uh leader up there did the four car just start running the lower line after that or what happened did he just smack the wall oh he went over wow the leader even went over there he went in super low and slid up oh my god he almost flipped too damn and that's what caught the uh two and the ten it looks like yeah i caught both of them all the way up i think the ten might have gone over at one point he throws a slider there for second does he end up going over or something? He's going in low, probably right here. Oh, oh, yep, just barely. 
If you got in a little too low there, it really screwed you up. But they saved it really well and didn't uh, didn't go over too hard. And I know he went over at one point the six car. I don't know what was happening with him because he was really fast in practice. Yeah, he just did the same thing. He went in uh, a little low, slid up. Not even that low though. He just slid up, went over. Like. It is so tough to not fly over the edge in three and four with how worn out it was already to start with. So, good win by the four. Even with him going over, he still won. He had a huge lead at that point. But the three car went over. I went over in second place uh, twice. And if I didn't go over twice, I probably would have gotten around the eight. Because where did he go over? Right here? Because he had the lapper with him at that point, I guess. Or when did he go over? No, it was before that, wasn't it? Yeah, it might have been here. Yeah, he was close to the edge there. Ooh, he barely catches it, actually. He was so high, just right on the rim. You could see his back right barely get over there. Did he get hit? No, I don't think he did. No, I think he just straightened out. He turned his wheel a little too hard last second. Right there, he turned it hard, and his back right was over, and he just went over, smashed the wall a little bit. Did he go over on this lap too? I think this was before I went over. I went over at lap 21, I think. Because he was running pretty close to these two who finished second, third at that point. And yeah, he just caught it over. Almost went flipping. Hit the wall pretty hard. I'm surprised. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it messed up his turning. And that's what caught us up to him. That's what happened. But he rejoined so quickly and right in front of us. Gave us a 2x because we had nowhere to go at that point. But unfortunate where we ended up. Uh, ended up fifth. Should have finished top two. Maybe could have won the race if we never went over and just stayed with the four. But I screwed up twice. I can't be. I can't blame anybody else. That was both my fault on going over. So finished fifth out of ten. Car number one definitely gonna lose some my rating, which is unfortunate. So let's go see what we ended up getting out of the results. All right, results in strength field was only 24-29. Was top split only two different splits though. We actually had the fastest lap of the race. Wow. I'm kind of. I'm, I am, but not shocked by that in a way. The four was very quick. I know the three was very fast too. He was catching us uh, after about ten laps or so. He started catching us really quickly, but uh, that's unfortunate. We did really bad. Lost 36 I rating, almost down to 4300. Barely lost any safety with that 2x, but it's all right. I'm not worried about safety, but. Uh, sucks where we finished. Could have finished top two. Could have probably won the race if we stayed on track. Just you just need to keep the car in line on track. Like three and four, it gets so loose up there. If you can just find a different line that has some speed and you're not stubborn about it, you could probably find some speed in three and four and keep it on track. One and two was pretty pretty easy for the most part up top. It it started going away the last couple laps and you could kind of use a, that slide line in the middle. But uh, other than that, the top of one and two was fine. Top and three and four was the fastest way around. It was just so easy to go off. Like half of us went off, I think. The three, me, I know the eight did, the four did. That's already four of us. The six definitely did. I don't know about the seven. He might've gone uh, over, but he, he might've also just been off the pace. I'm not sure. I didn't really see what happened with him all race. I think the nine might've went over. It was most of us. I think the two and the 10 are the only ones that didn't go over all race. Actually the 10 did go over the slightest bit. Uh, coming off of turn four he barely went over and that's what lost the time on second place for him but overall if you would just keep the car on track you can get a good finish here so hopefully you guys enjoyed the race nonetheless uh hope uh let me know if you guys did this race early in the week appreciate you guys for watching as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one